You know, this technology stuff is a pretty good idea. Even though it was evil technology. So me and the other guys decide to pull our money together and get one of those mail-order build-your-own-robot kits. But it's missing a few parts. Luckily we have some laying around yet. Like a Ninja 1 head. And a Cyborg number 2 head. Kinda looks like a Mega Man guy, but they didn't pack us a... They didn't pack us a Mega Buster either. So we have to pack our own kind of Mega Buster. How about Parasol Shot? Let's call him the Biofrost. Or Bio for short. That's right, Budget Ninja Cyborg Biofrost. With Parasol Weapon. It was really close on choices. It was ridiculous. I had two, three really good suggestions. I had the Biofrost from video number two. I had Kamen Rider Guro's alien tank parasol guy. And I had Cyndaquil 87's ninja buggy parasol guy. So none of them were objectively bad. It's just this guy was a bit more comfortable for me. He's pretty quick, he could jump pretty good, and he has a decent amount of health. And he's going to be going to the only area left. The Milk Sea! There's only one boss left. What's gonna happen after that? No idea. Biofrost is gonna murder penguins, though. And their bubbles. I learned a thing about Bubble Penguin. Bubble Penguin will shoot one bubble, and if you turn it into an egg, he won't shoot any more bubbles. And that is not a Bubble Penguin. I'll murder it immediately. I'm gonna try something, though. I wanna see if I can break the bubble's egg and see if he can shoot another one. Nope. He doesn't seem inclined to. They just chase after you when you destroy the bubble. If it explodes, they will shoot another one, giving you unlimited chances to getting an extra power-up. Which is great. Hey, where'd you come from? D did he phase through that little room he was in? Let's take a look. He did! I never saw that happen before! You! You will not jump out of there, will you? You know what? I'll make sure of it. There you go, now you're an umbrella for life! Enjoy your life as an umbrella! I can't even kill him. Oh, I wanted to kill that- give me another bubble. Give me another bubble that I could shoot. Fine, whatever. I didn't like your bubble anyway, it was stupid. So I didn't know that penguins have some kind of universe-destroying technology that allows them to go through walls. So that means I have to make it a purpose to destroy them in their own homes. Like a real ninja. A real cyborg ninja. These guys shoot bullets at you, that's why I'm not letting them live. Because they just stand there and just turret at you. I don't like that. I don't like that in my penguin. Why is most of the enemies in this game black and white animals? Skunks? And then pandas and now penguins. Oh yeah, speaking of skunk, there's uh there's jump skunk. He's a cousin of the drop bear. I knew he was coming. And we must be in the dessert section of uh Ice Fire Mountain. It must be like one giant Sunday. And it's level two parasol. As we saw before with the weapons, they grow in size. Then they gain additional abilities. We'll see them as we level up weapons more. Parasol! I hear some people giving a lot of guff on the internet for Parasol. Parasol's a really good weapon, I don't know why people hate it. It's a good short, medium range weapon, and then it hits flying things. And it could also make skunks destroy themselves, like uh, this guy right over here. He's a jump skunk, he's supposed to jump at me, but he doesn't feel like doing that. Instead, he feels like dying. The skunks have gotten so desperate they released the crack suicide squad after me. Trying to make me feel bad as he drowns in the parfait. Sorry, I feel no remorse. I am a cyborg now. Cyborg ninja. That's less remorse for you. Now I feel remorse. What's going on here? This is a dream world, right? Not some kind of nightmare escape. Nightmare land. Or just nightmare 2 in general. And look, I have umbrella! Yeah, these penguins are a little bit different. They don't like where they are, so they fly off into the stratosphere. Hopefully outer space is a better place for them. And these guys appear from behind. See, I'm farming them for life. I don't know why some enemies appear behind you. Maybe to keep you moving forward, but I really want to destroy them for power-ups, so that's just a boon for me. I really want to kill that guy. It it's better to let them approach you, or maybe just not hit them. Or just be really good at hitting them. 
either or. This doesn't look very milk sea to me. It looks more like the sea of death. The dead sea. Literally. Ooh, I almost have level 3 parasol. That's good. Give me more umbrella. Thank you. Everybody, pay your umbrella tax right now. Ah! You're listening to me today! Level 3 parasol! This is full size. Maybe I could get maybe I could get level 4 parasol by the end of this. It's not a particularly long level, but we're getting really lucky on these power-ups. Crazy lucky. Okay, he just flew himself into the slope. That happens sometimes. Luckily we could respawn all the enemies so we don't kill. Give we get some limited chances at more stuff. Okay, this looks like a milk sea. Welcome to the cheesy beaches of the Milk Sea. Holy cow, this is getting ridiculous up in here. All these umbrellas! Trilby would be so proud that I'm murdering people with Grawlies. And now we have torpedo penguins. Destroy their bubble, you can let them hit a wall and they'll kill themselves. Or you can kill them dead with your weapon. Either or. There's an interesting feature with the Milk Sea if you bring a boat friend. Maybe we'll bring a boat friend next time. But if you really want to get up on these, and you don't have specific friends, you could always ride the bubbles. Your surface tension is better than the bubble. Or, I don't know how buoyancy works. Come on. I'm a budget cyborg that shoots umbrellas. I don't need to understand buoyancy. I just have to understand kill penguin for more life. Six lives. Not as ridiculous as I was hoping, but still pretty ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, look at you! <laughs> You are one fabulous pirate. It's Captain Flint. Hey, he kind of reminds me of another guy I know named Flint. But I don't think he'd be awesome enough to wear purple and green. Or that getup. And he knows about Princess Rua. Finally, a boss in this game that knows what game it's in. All right, what he's what is he gonna throw at us, huh? Holy cow! Is that what I think it is? It's the Stolfos Pirates! Alright, they're gonna get murdered by Umbrellas now. I will not have Tingle references in my Kokoron, thank you very much. Yeah, we're fighting the flying pirate ship of the Stolfos Pirates. Captain Flint must be the, the, the bone captain from that game. Also, weigh anchor! But not like that! Ah! Why are you throwing our rum? I mean, our juice! Our rum juice. This is terrible. Alright, I said fire the cannons. I didn't mean fire the cannons. Who has the cannon cannon? He's fired. D did you see the pun I did there? Yeah, I did that right now. And I killed the Stolfos pirates with umbrellas. That happened too. You know what? We need an appropriate music for this. I have just a thing. Yeah, there we go. That is proper Stolfos pirate music. Whenever we run across this guy, I'm playing that. No, that wasn't lampshading. You're ridiculous. The fairies kidnap Princess Rua, and his ship is destroyed. Well, sucks to be you. All right, Dream Tape Air, I had my fun. I played Stolfos pirate music. Let's move on with our day. In fact, we can make one more friend. But I killed all the bosses. What use is another friend to me? There's nothing for him to do. Well, I guess I'll select the friend that I was holding out on for the, the final area because he's not exactly good at bosses. And we, we could pretty much just go anywhere. It just opens up from this point. So from the Milk Sea, we can go to the Fairy Forest. We can go to Star Hill. We could go back to Icefire Mountain if you feel crazy. Or we could go to Trump Castle. You have options again. I'll see you next time when we enjoy our final friend and find out what the heck is going on here. There's no clues at all. Good night, folks. <laughs>